All right, everybody, welcome to the next episode in our Starfield series. Um, we're going to be hopping back in here and see what kind of trouble we can get in for this little section right now. Um, this session is not being recorded live. Um, it's early. I've only got a little bit of time before I need to start getting ready. So I'm just going to do a little, a little bit and um, see what we can do and pull off here. One note I would like to make from the last time we played, I do have mods installed now. So we have the DSLL support and we have reshade for some image sharpening on to kind of make the game look better and perform better. So we're going to see how this goes and um, keep an eye on everything. So let's let's hop back in here and see what we got going on. I did notice like last night while doing a little testing, I was just loading in and running around the little moon area we're on and it had like a 10, 10 frame or so boost. But as you can see, it's kind of like all over. kicks you out of that jump. God, it takes so long to do. Uh, while we're there. Let's hit our scan. Oh, we did make it there. go land and hop in there and uh bit out there.
it's hard to see where some people are.
much, not much. And in we go. Oh yeah. There's no certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? No exaggerations this time. Hmm. Hey, unicorn. Not kidding. Wait. The mythical mare with the magic horn thing? Come on. Was King Arthur riding on it too? Okay, it was more of an extremophile in the vague shape of a horse. But my point still stands. You need an open mind out there. You go into the far reaches of space too tightly wound, your brain is just gonna pop like a soda can. Well, uh, I can't say I feel too bad about you killing someone who kidnapped me and probably murdered a lot of people, but... Matsur the Grim? Honestly, a pretty nice guy as far as pirates go. I think I butted heads with his mentor once years back. Had the same kind of surprisingly hospitable vibe. Hey, you're underselling my harrowing escape from certain doom here. A little charm goes a long way when the knives are out. Honestly, I was kind of rolling the dice with you. But hey, sometimes a bet pays off. This guy. This guy. Yes. Continue, please. I think about it a lot. There's so many possibilities. Some wonderful, some terrifying. I'm not a fearful man, but I am just a man. And I'm keenly aware that this artifact could change my life. Or end it. Sure. Like what? Good talk. Okay, then. All right.
not some bad finds while we're in here. Get out of here and return homeboy back home. Pickens, you say you are dead. Head back out of here this way. So, back to the lodge? Welcome I've been back. standing around here an awfully long time, you know. Yeah, that sucks to be you guys. jump back to Alpha Centauri. You are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. All right, we're done. You're clear to land at New Atlantis. You are satisfied with the quarters available to you. I like going on adventures, Dad. But I like being able to come home to my room, too. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, country. Wait. Is yeah. That... <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library show. Now look at them all. Ask if you've got questions. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So hey, I, I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around, help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? Marvelous. I've occasionally had my doubts about constellation.
fortune as an investment. But now, well, it's clearly money well spent. We've always considered ourselves explorers. This Alrighty, now we're gonna go sell off some stuff. Now that's our good our good boy um, Barrett was saved. Sergeant Yumi is looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. Please let me know if I may see. You won't find a larger array. You'll find that I have most everything on offer. I'm glad you came in. Okay, so I think the tram is over there, so maybe by the ship. That is convenient, but riding right after you eating can give you stomach aches. Every time I see that statue, I feel a little bit warm. Can't really explain why, but I do. Good to be home, right? Okay, scan me. All right, so there's our ship. Ah, here it is. Anything I can help you with?
Oh shit, the vendor's out of credits. I didn't even realize that. got some new equipment um, we did get a new gun um, it's actually favorite that guy there and this guy we want to keep it so we'll make him Not bad, so there we go. Um, in this episode, just a nice, real little quick one. We were able to rescue Barrett, get some new stuff, head back, uh, reunite the gang, and then we're going to head out for our next piece in the next one. Um, so thank you guys for watching here on YouTube, and I will see you in the next episode, and I hope you guys are enjoying this. So please leave a like, a comment, a suggestion, or what you would like to see happen in something like this, and a series like this, because I have two series like this going right now. I have the Starfield one, which we just start, started now, which we're going to put a bunch of time into. And then we also have the Baldur's Gate one that's going through that I also got to try to record some through. But first, I want to get some of this out since it's new and hot. Baldur's Gate, where we're at, has been around for a while. Um, so we'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.